Hello everyone. The novel coronavirus COVID-19 have changed many things around. The way we greet each other, our personal hygiene and our professional life too. Virtual meetings and of course we are changed. The impact and the loss due to the spread needs years to heal and in this situation the service and sacrifice by healthcare workers deserves massive respect. Among the challenges faced by physicians nowadays during this pandemic, the main and the foremost problem is tackling antimicrobial resistance in this pandemic situation. Yes, it is a global crisis which needs immediate attention and action and moreover awareness among people. Development of antibiotics have enabled medical advancement over several decades. While various different kind of antibiotics are evolved and developed, on the other hand, various type of bacteria grows in parallel, creating resistance and outrunning of ability to treat various infections. Provided these infections caused by antibiotic resistant bacteria are very difficult to treat, with approximate death rate of 7 lakh people per year worldwide. Searching for a solution to prevent this, there we found antibiotic stewardship. Antibiotic stewardship guides promoting appropriate use of antibiotics and appropriate use of prescription, which brings positive patient outcomes and it prevents existing organisms and infections due to that. In this COVID-19 pandemic situation, there are potential threats that could affect antibiotic stewardship activities and bring antibiotic resistance. Yes, and mostly in COVID-19 patients affected with pneumonia who take antibiotics. Furthermore, studies reveal that pneumonia infections have been a major reason for the spreading of multi-drug resistant organisms which leads to increased use of antibiotics. NCTC of India insists physicians not to prescribe antibiotic therapy as a prophylaxis for COVID-19 patients until signs and symptoms of bacterial infection do exist in that patient. To stem the emergence of untreatable drug resistant infections and disease, antibiotic stewardship activities should be integrated as a pandemic response in broader healthcare systems by few measures as suggested by WHO World Health Organization. Number one, increase clinical competence among healthcare workers who treat COVID-19 patients with targeted training. Key competencies include ability to identify signs and symptoms of severe COVID-19 with superimposed bacterial and fungal infection. Eliminating unnecessary use of antibiotics. Evaluating medical devices so as to prevent nosocomial infections and bring down antibiotic using rate. Number two, ensuring the continuity of health services and regular supply of quality assured and affordable antimicrobials, including anti TB drugs and vaccines. Number three, many advancements in testing COVID 19 have been introduced, especially COVID self, a testing kit at home introduced by my labs and improved testing methods especially for presumed patients could reduce the urge to take antibiotics. Number four, last but not least, as I said earlier, ensuring stewardship activities of antibiotics is mandatory in this pandemic condition. Rapid and affordable diagnostic test procedures which differentiate bacterial and viral infections easily could bring demineration of antibiotics and multidrug resistant organisms causing infection and disease which may lead to death rate of many. I thank Operan Pharmacy Federation for giving me this beautiful opportunity to extend my views on spread of antibiotic resistance in this COVID-19 pandemic. And I would like to thank for creating awareness among the nation about this emerging global crisis. So, to everyone watching this video, stay safe and stay away from Corona. And spread hope, not fear. Thank you.